morning and welcome back to another studio vlog today i wanted to vlog my entire day but before we get started i wanted to say a huge thank you to better help for sponsoring this video i'm going to discuss what better help is and how they can potentially help you so let's get on with the video and i'll discuss that a little bit later so today i actually am going to be going to the post office um and then i'm going to go stationery shopping so i'm going to get you guys to come around to the west fields i'm going to go to mint my desk they basically put aside a like little care stationery package for me because I made a few videos for them on Instagram. So I'm gonna go pick up a little stationery pack and then yeah, this afternoon, I actually wanna go to around to a few coffee shops. Um, a huge announcement. I don't know if I was gonna say it on this video today, but I'm opening a physical stationery shop in Sydney. It's going to be a craft cafe slash, um, slash like stationery shop and it's gonna have like an art studio workspace for people to come and do like craft and eat sessions. So, I will be having coffees, some really fun drinks, and also taiyaki pancakes. So those are, um, are the Japanese pancake shaped like fish. So I've actually been testing out the taiyaki pancakes here um, just to see what kind of batter I'm going to be using and what kind of things I'm going to be putting inside of them. So I might even make one this afternoon because I'm going to test out another flavor. Um, so yeah, I can show you guys a little bit of baking. But yeah, when, I want, when I'm gonna go around to the cafes, I might do a few like art journaling. So there'll be lots of crafty things that I'm doing today. So hopefully this will be a fun vlog for you guys to watch. So before I head out for the day, I wanted to show you a few bits and pieces I've got for the um, stationery shop slash craft cafe. I got these adorable little baskets. Look at them. They're so cute. I'll show you one by itself. I've been searching for like adorable things. I also got these from Daiso because I wanted to have really cute hooks to hang up for kids who come to like kids craft workshops. And I'll show you one open. Do I have one open? No, I don't. Oh, oh yeah, I do. No, no. Yeah, I do. Cool. So basically it will be like that on the wall and then when the kids hang their aprons up that will pop up how cute is that i really want the whole craft craft cafe to be like a lot of fun so i've picked out a lot of fun things i've also got these adorable white baskets and then i found i found these from actually woolworths i just thought that they match the color palette really well because i'm doing like a pink and blue and white theme so yeah getting some bits and pieces here and there the cafe will open next april if everything goes according to plan so I've been just collecting little things but I need to go to the post office now so these two boxes are going to a roomie for um, the website basically a roomie is going to start packing a lot of my orders because I've been working a lot what because she's already shipping off the my stationary subscription packages so this is just gonna be one more thing that she's gonna help me out with so I need to get this in the bag and I'm gonna go to the post office so I'm just driving to the post office and then I need to go to Westfields. Um, so yes, let's go. It's so weird vlogging outside. People have been staring at me. Uh, I always listen to podcasts in the car. Do you guys do the same? So at the moment I'm listening to Crime Junkie. So let's go. cool this envelope is I love this so much I would love to know if I could buy these how gorgeous is that it's all printed on it's not like it's been collaged this is so beautiful 
Brittany, hello. I was watching one of your older videos and you mentioned needing letter paper. This is an Etsy printable. I love this lady's shop. I really look forward to all your content. You made my world better. <gasps> oh, thank you so much. Here's the Etsy if you guys want to check it out. This is so gorgeous. Thank you so much for this. That is like the sweetest thing. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nelda, I really, really, really appreciate it. Level one. So here is my beautiful Mint My Desk package. I have no idea what's inside. I had a little sneak peek in the shop. I think there are the stickers or something in there. Oops. But I did buy two things from the shop and then everything else was gifted kindly. So I thought it'd be fun to do like a little mini unboxing where I can just go through and see what they've gifted me. But first, I'm so hungry, so I'm gonna make myself some lunch. So I told you guys earlier that I'm going to be having taiyaki pancakes at my craft cafe in Sydney when I open it up next year. Um, so I bought this taiyaki maker um, and basically I've just been testing out a lot of different recipes. Um, so I'm going to make a ham cheese taiyaki because I really love going to cafes and getting um, ham cheese croissants. But because this is going to be like only taiyaki sold at this place, then I was thinking of different ways that I can make it. Um, like sweet and savory. So we're going to try out a savory taiyaki pancake with ham and cheese in it today. So what you do is you pop the mixture in there. So I've got like a pancake mixture. Um, and then you close it. Oh actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two and work it out because usually you'd close it and then flip it and cook it on both sides. But today I'm going to just try doing um, oops, one on this one, one on this one, and then flipping it like that, just so it cooks evenly and at the same time. So let's try that out. I'm on a bit of an angle. Hmm. How can we fix this? That's better. 
So today I was going to get an electric scooter to Starbucks, but it's just started raining and it's getting pretty late in the afternoon now. So I actually have an assignment due tomorrow. So I think I'm going to spend the afternoon writing my essay. Um, and then maybe in the next vlog, if you guys enjoyed this one, I'll do a vlog where I go around lots of cafes um, and do some art journaling. So I really wanted to use my Mint My Desk products today, um, but I don't think I'm going to get time. Maybe I could do like a little art journal here today. <gasps> okay, so I have no idea what's inside. It's like a little surprise. So these are the items that I bought um, while I was in there. So I'll show you those ones first. So let's see if I can get him in focus. Look how cute. Isn't he adorable? I should say she. Um, where's my scissors? I don't know if I should put this on like Oh, actually, I'm going to keep the tag as well because the tag is pretty cute. There's a little, like, can you guys see that? I, I don't know what it's meant to be. I thought it was, like, a little lucky charm, like a four-leaf clover. I know, but it's all cute. Should I put it on, like, a pencil case? Or I've got an art journaling case that I can put it on. I think that'd be fun. And then I got two of these washi tapes. So they are these like Japanese, really wide ones. So I've been using them for decorating um, mail art and they've been so cute. So I got two more. So that's what I bought. And let's see what we've got in here. <gasps> I think it's a drink bottle. This is so good. It's so lovely that they did this for me. I literally um, went to their shop and made like a reel for Instagram. And then I tagged them in it. And then I told them I had a YouTube channel and they checked it out. And then they messaged me and said, hey, if you're going to come back, we'll give you some products. <gasps> okay, look. So can you guys see? I don't know if you can see that. It says, good morning. And it's a really cute glass bottle and then you can hold it I think by the top bit and then it's got this like winky little bunny on the front how cute I love this this is actually perfect for tea because it's glass or actually would that be too hot to put tea in there because it's glass because the glass will heat up um Maybe I can do like nice juices in this. That's really cute. Thank you. All right. What else have we got? Okay. I want to be your girl. Oh, it's a little memo pad. That's cute. I'm just looking at this one. Oh, how lovely. So it's the same print on every page. really sweet. Nice little memo pad there. Alright, what else is in here? Oh, I was actually looking at this one. I picked this one up in the store. So it's a little note paper. Of course I'm going to keep the packaging because it's adorable. And then we've got some really cute notes. The one and only. <laughs> Double happiness. And as a cat with... Um, Fish and then double happiness. All right, I'll show you these ones. So this one will be perfect for birthdays. And then double happiness. And then we've got this one here. What else is this? Double happiness. <gasps> How cute! And then you just write your little note on the back, I guess. I love all these little things because I've been using them for like packing all my orders. Um, so just so you guys know, I um, have closed my Etsy, but I've opened up my shop on my website. So um, that's the package I sent off this morning to Arumi. I've sent all of my 
um, products over to Rumi and Rumi's going to pack them um, because she's shipping all of the My Stationery subscriptions. So she's basically shipping everything from our website. So this looks like a notepad. So I'll just show you the front real quick. So it's got this kawaii girl. And it says small mochi. I thought mochi's the sweets that you eat. It's a six ring binder. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so we've got, and it's pink. Love. And it's got a cute little hanger that you put on it. Oh, this would have been so nice to journal in this if I went to a cafe. We'll have to do it next time. That is so sweet. And then it's amusement park themed. Oh, there's a Sakura girl on the back. So amusement park. Oh, there's really cute things on the back. I'll show you the fronts first. And then I'll show you the back. How sweet. I love these. This little dangly thing on it. And then have like, yeah, at the back. So cute. Okay, that's adorable. I'll pop that one to the side. Love. <laughs> There's washi tapes. I probably didn't need to buy anything when I went into the shop because there's so much in here, but I couldn't help myself. Okay. Let me actually pop those in my journal and I'll actually open them up so you guys can see them properly. Oh, and there's another little one. What does that say? It says something on it. I don't know. And then we have, oh, why are these so cute? Everything's adorable. The whole way through. And what is it? It's a bear in like a piece of toast, I think. Is that what it is? With like fruit all around? Very, very cute. And then I think that's all. We've got a gorgeous notebook. So it's called Starry Sky. This actually reminds me of the scene out of um, Ghibli Studios where um, Sophie in House Moving Castle is like standing on that beautiful um, cliff. But now that I'm saying it, I think it's a different scene. <laughs> but um, so it's this gorgeous notebook and then you open it up <gasps> and it's got pretty paper inside. And it clips together just a magnet. So satisfying. This is gorgeous. Oh, how lovely. Thank you so much, Mint My Desk, for all these gifts. I love them. They're so cute. So that's it. Let's do a little bit of a journal spread. And then I'll tell you about the sponsor for today, BetterHelp. As I mentioned previously, BetterHelp is the sponsor of this video and when they reached out to me I immediately said yes to this partnership because I've been studying art psychotherapy for a year and a half now and I'm really passionate about getting the extra help and helping others find the right therapist for whatever they're going through in life. So you don't need to have a mental health disorder or diagnosis to actually get help. It can be simple things in life that you find it difficult and you need to speak to someone and a professional licensed therapist is a great start. Um, I have spoken to multiple friends about certain things and the first thing I ask them is are you talking to anyone beyond your like support network? So 
if you have friends and family that you discuss things with, you there's still things that you may not feel comfortable going deep into. Um, there could be different emotions that can stop you from actually talking to your support network about things and it might be that there's a bit of shame that comes up or it might be that you fully don't understand the situation and when you do go out and find a therapist that actually suits your needs then it can really help you understand yourself better. While I've been at um, this university doing art psychotherapy, I didn't realize how much work I actually needed to do on myself before I actually get into the workforce and become a therapist myself. I've learned so much about myself and the things that make me. Um, so if you've tried therapy in the past and you thought it wasn't right, I would highly recommend um, going and trying a few different therapists because it does take a while to find the right one. Generally, when I talk to people and ask people if they're getting professional help, um, they sometimes they have hesitations because they think they might have to run through their entire life history or that they're going to find things that are going to be uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be. It should be that you're leaving the sessions with new not like new knowledge about who you are or why you do certain things. And there are many different therapy um, like therapists out there. So Better Health is actually um, a leading provider of online therapy. So there's over twenty thousand highly vetted licensed therapists at Better Help. Definitely recommend Better Help. I've used them myself. Um, through hard times and it is really convenient. So I'm finishing up my little art journal spread. I know it's very simple. I just wanted to kind of chuck everything on the page that I got from the stationery store. Um, and yeah, I thought it was just a nice way to end my afternoon. Thanks so much for watching the vlog today. I hope you enjoyed it. And next time we'll go to cafes and we'll do some art journaling. Bye.